Hello, hello everyone! I randomly found this spot where <laughs> there is such an incredible view of San Francisco. It's, um, you know, I'm loving this city because it's all up and down and I come from a hilly region of the north of Italy so I'm used to see hills and mountains around me so whenever I see hills and slopes oh my god my it's heartwarming for me so I'm really loving San Francisco so far for this aspect and I know today's live stream is not planned at all it's also Friday which is a day where I usually don't post anything on my channel but you know what it's such a beautiful day in San Francisco although quite windy so again we'll see how the audio is gonna keep up uh, I found myself randomly in San Francisco you know that I'm not staying I mentioned in my previous live stream all oh, there's a car coming I'm not staying but I'm staying in a more rural area north of San Francisco, a couple of hours north. Uh, so yeah, I know that you guys love live streams from big cities. So <laughs> here we go. I thought I popped in. In the meantime, I see people are joining. Hello, Leonardo from Friuli. Ciao, Antonio, Alessandro. Hello, Charles. You're live from San Francisco, California. Let's see where we're going to explore today. What do you think of this view? These random stairs in a residential neighborhood. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Not bad, I, th I say. Um, also look at these houses here I mean they are truly pretty I think but they are also extremely expensive I was talking <laughs> I was talking just now with a person I randomly met on the street he told me that these houses are probably about three four million dollars <laughs> so yeah nice and pretty but maybe other corners of the world are just as pretty and not as unaffordable hello from Basel wow Switzerland talk about expensive living <laughs> Chris, Russian Hill? No, I don't think I'm on Russian Hill. Hello, Aoki. Nice to see you on a live stream. Uh, I think this area... Oh my God, look at these houses. I'm close to Mission District here. Not sure if, you, if you've heard that. I said the Mission District which is the neighborhood that I plan on exploring today. Hello. Hello, Victoria from Pennsylvania. I'm doing great, thank you. Mandy Nicola. We are about to enter. A place that I've been that I'm very excited to explore and now you're gonna see why in the meantime I cannot not compare San Francisco with New York City two American cities that uh, I'm seeing these days and 
I see with much pleasure that people love balconies in San Francisco and terraces. And also something that, let's see if I find one. Also something I'm, I haven't mentioned in my previous live stream, but I keep noticing and I keep loving it are these type of windows. Um, they have a particular name. I don't quite remember it now, but they let so much light enter into the houses. I truly love them. And they seem to be in every house here in San Francisco. Hi, Antonio from New York. Rich, good to see you again in the live stream. Rich is actually, if I remember correctly, from the Mission District, am I right? You were here on the, the other, my previous live stream. And look at where I am now. They're called bay windows, okay. Thanks for that. the tram which here they call streetcar if I understood correctly not sure why because it's not a car clearly <laughs> hi Sam me and Margie love to knit while watching you have a great walk thank you very much knitting is a great activity I think so happy knitting to you and Margie. I mean, I don't even know where to go. Wow, there's so so many people here. It smells great. It must be some of these plants. I am in Mission Dolores Park, where people seem to all be picnicking right now. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just going to go for a little walk in this park. The name of this park is Mission Dolor Dolores? Dolores Park. I don't know if it's Mission Dolores Park or just Dolores. I'm glad I can show some sunlight to my European friends because it's evening there now. Probably late evening. I'm sorry, I should have probably started this live stream a little bit earlier to allow the Europeans to follow it. Wow, the energy here is amazing. It's been told me, it's been told to me that also the weather as it is today, it's not very common this season. Not in San Francisco. It's supposed to be colder usually, which really surprises me because I was expecting San Francisco to be a little bit warmer than this. This truly feels like colder than New York City. <laughs> Another mystery is the internet connection here in San Francisco because it's been spotty last time and Chris just commented that it's been spotty now. Um, I don't know, I'm on top of a hill so in the city center basically so I, I don't know <laughs> if it's not good here I don't know where it could be good.
wow, people are wearing swimsuits in the city. Amazing. Someone is basically naked here. <laughs> oh my god, I want to live here. For a while. Don't get me wrong. It's always easy to see the positive sides of places that you have just seen for the first time, right? I mean, when you see them for the first time. And then usually after a couple of months that you live in a new place, you start slowly seeing the negative sides and you kind of change idea a little bit or you adjust it. Oh my god. Uh, go down to 18th and Dolores and grab a slice of pizza from Delfina. You'll thank me. Rich, you're, I'm an Italian who lives in New York City. Are you sure of what you're saying? That I should eat pizza in San Francisco? <laughs> Not tacos or something <laughs> more local? <laughs> Oh my god, no, I have to talk on top of this music because otherwise they are going to demonetize my last stream. <laughs> Which is what happened last day with the other last stream that I did. By the way, if you've happened to re-watch the that last stream, you will probably notice that at a certain point in the first third there is a change of music when I enter into a store and that is because I had to put some some um, music on top of the natural audio of that video which was copyrighted because of the background music of the show. This trees also? Can we talk about them? <laughs> Ah, yes. Cats are feeding me out of fucking advocacy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is getting too warm now. So I'm gonna take off my jacket. I see someone suggesting fresh oysters. I actually had um, <laughs> fresh oysters the other day uh, in the, how is it called? Bodega Bay. Not in the town of Bodega Bay, but I, I was in that area and uh, I went, oh my god, these trees. I love them. <laughs> and yeah, I had fresh oysters for the second time in my life. First time I didn't like them, I had them in New York City. I think it was in New York City or in Maine, I don't quite remember. This time I really, really enjoyed them. Uh, 
<laughs> I love that you <laughs> I love that you are recommending food for me. Thank you. I'm not gonna uh, die of hunger <laughs> for sure. Um, as you might know if you follow my channel, I don't have a big budget available, especially for restaurants. Uh, and to be honest, I have some snacks in my backpack. I have some nuts and stuff like that. I think that's what I'm, I'm gonna have for lunch. But thank you anyways. copyrighted music so <laughs> the best for my videos Diogliet. oh I love Dolores Park one of the best views of the city I can I can't believe you I mean I'm loving it too and I've been here for two minutes <laughs> really great vibe great views of course the weather is doing a lot and I've been told that this is not typical weather for San Francisco in this season but um, yeah really amazing park I loved it you have to imagine that it's about 20 degrees Celsius today 68 Fahrenheit. It's uh, quite windy, but um, not as bad. As you've seen, I had to take off my jacket. Uh, I think the connection is party why is that we don't know
Like to give them tip. Oh, that's up there. away his business card right now what an entrance to the park do you agree I mean I don't know if it uh, felt like that in the video look at that glorious I <laughs> loved it and look at these houses in front of me now see what I was telling you about this um, bay windows <laughs> Someone suggested. So someone is asking me, someone was asking me whether I, I visited museums and stuff, and the answer is the same as in my last live stream of last Sunday which is that I haven't visited San Francisco I'm literally exploring the city for the first time with you in my live streams so again I'm staying outside of the city in a very rural area and um, today I had to take someone to the airport and I stopped in San Francisco and I thought you know what it's a pretty great weather and beautiful day to not go live so that's why I spontaneously went live luckily I had my gimbal with me and that's the whole story I'm a bit afraid about the internet connection here Owen says it's buffering uh, I get a constant notice from the app that I'm using that the transmission is unstable due to a weak network connection so I would enjoy some feedback from you guys because I'm not a professional like Action Kid <laughs> who goes <laughs> I know that Action Kid actually goes around with two um, phones <laughs> one he uses to do the live stream and the other one he uses to check if everything is going fine for you from home 
not as professional. I have only one phone. <laughs> so you gotta help me here. And if I had a second phone, I could now scan that QR code and see what the turtle says. Oh my God, I love this one. Something drastic, stop using plastic. <laughs> Take action, conserve tur turtles.org usa.oceana.org Art by Eat Me Dash Art <laughs> Down there, if you want to check out that Instagram account Nice You know the other day What's going on here? someone with blasting music hi Robert uh, check your email uh, again I was explained that I I only own one phone so if my phone is used right now to do the live stream so I am not able to check my email I guess I mean I, I don't know if uh, it would interrupt the live stream or, or not, but I better not try, honestly. Even a diamond, it should not be cast into the fire. This one I don't understand. Okay. Um, you make your own thoughts about this. I think it's a reference to the Native Americans. I'm not sure about it. Robert, okay, one block west of 13 Bakery. Uh, did I just pass 13 Bakery? Ooh, this looks like Tuscany, but I actually think it's Sonoma County because that's where I've been exploring these past few days. And it indeed looks a little bit like Tuscany. Tuscany. Uh, oh my god, I'm sorry for the phone connection. Someone is about to blast music right next to me. But it also, it's something, that, it's something that shows how free people feel here and how um, careless about the judgment of other people, which I think it's a very positive feature, very positive attitude towards life, towards society in general. And also again the creativity which is something that 
I mentioned in my previous live stream. Um, Chris, how did you like Sonoma County? Beautiful. Very, very interesting. The, uh, it's very different. Let me see where I am. It's very different um, from one corner to the other of the county. Like you can take a different road and it, the landscape just changes completely. It's really uh, a bit disorienting and, and very beautiful at the same time. I can find a place that I spotted on Google Maps earlier. Hello, Federico. I'm seeing that the internet connection is not doing well. <laughs> to be honest, I really don't know what to do about it. <laughs> so, I didn't check the internet connection before coming to this area, which is what I usually do when I'm in country, rural areas, because I figured I'm in the middle of San Francisco, which is a very famous tech city, place where all tech companies are and so on and so forth. Can someone explain me how the internet connection can be so crappy, both in San Francisco and in New York City, if I can be honest? Um, I'm kind of thinking that it might be the 5G, <laughs> because since the 5G started to come out a few months ago, the internet connection in New York City has started to be really bad. So if someone is informed about, about that, let me know. In the meantime, we have more Moraleses here. Thanks for the heads up, Rich. a nice area there. Eighteenth and Valencia. Okay, we are almost there. Thanks, Robert. We are at 17th right now. Ciao Andrea. Plastic. We saw a Morales earlier about the plastic. I wanted to say something. But the other day, oh, I think I found what I wanted to find. A little alley full of murals. It's supposed to be very touristy, so I guess we're gonna find people with 
taking selfies and stuff like that but let's go anyways uh, the other day I too I I ordered I don't know a beverage at a place and it came with a paper straw <laughs> and it seems like in all the places I go to America people are obsessed with its paper straws and paper bags and all paper just to substitute what is usually in plastic but um, I would like that people would make a little bit more of an effort because really just substituting the stuff that we consume with a different material does not solve the problem on the contrary for example in New York City it's very common that um, higher level kind of places they give you instead of plastic bag they give you a paper bag but then these paper bags are not reusable they are literally they go in the paper recycling you know at least the paper the plastic bags I can reuse for the garbage or to keep the salad in the fridge you know they are water resistant plastic is paper resistant so whatever same for these famous um, straws at least the plastic ones they stay intact throughout the whole drink <laughs> I don't know it just seems such a big effort to do with, for so little result I would prefer to see all these efforts uh, directed towards more effective environmental practices that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> Okay. Here is where I wanted to come. Okay, here is... Uh, I don't even know where to start. Uh, I guess let's start from here. Welcome to Clarion Allen Mural Project. Camp was founded in 92 by residents of the Alley and Mission District. Our mission is to support and produce socially engaged and aesthetically diverse public art as a grassroots community base. Artists run an organization based in San Francisco. So I read what they write here from 1948 to 73 San Francisco's de redevelopment era desecrated communities of color for capitalistic interests beginning with urban renewal of the Fillmore in 1945 and ending with the International Hotel in the 77 our communities still feel the ramifications from this era and are still fighting gentrification to this day oh very interesting I came to a good place um, yeah so I was reading simply the Wikipedia page of this neighborhood earlier and people started migrating to this area, the Mission District, up to the 40s. In the 40s, the Latinos started. In the 40s, the more Latinos started to move here, especially Mexicans, but also people from Central uh, American countries, like I think San Salvador, um, Guatemala, I think some Ecuadorians, um, not sure about this, check out on the Wikipedia page. And so from the 40s to the 60s, you have this big wave of Latino American um, immigration. And the problem is that in the 80s and 90s up to nowadays, the gentrification became stronger and stronger, especially during the dot-com era. So the, the, you know, the 90s, early 2000s, this era where um, the World Wide Web started developing, where uh, all the internet companies started to um, 
mushroom <laughs> here in the city. Um, many young people, young tech people moved here exactly in the Mission District and many people say that that was the beginning of the uh, rise of the prices in the neighborhood and nowadays it seems like the prices, uh, especially real estate prices to live in this neighborhood are still extremely high and it became as for any gentrification area, it became very difficult for populations who have s settled here and built a family here decades ago to stay here. Um, they are very often forced to move outside of the city to be able to afford the rent. Um, yeah, so I guess we're gonna see a little bit more about this topic. I hope I gave you a little bit of a uh, historical con context, historical social context here. Sorry if it was not very well explained. <laughs> Can I say that these um, paintings remind me of <laughs> the old ch church paintings that you can find in Italy in churches? It, they are um, social problems just pictured um, in paintings. In I mean, in Italy it would be frescoes. Um, but the way that they picture them is almost allegoric. For example, look at this one. You know, this woman in the middle, she looks like she's probably the, uh, the allegory, I think it's called in English, for the city, the city of San Francisco or the municipality or the government. We don't know exactly. Um, on the left, you can see that um, coming soon, they are working for affordable housing, uh, house keys, not handcuffs, oh my god, the same guy from earlier, llaves de casa no esposas, not sure what it means, unfortunately I don't know Spanish, so on the left you see all the social movement, construction of affordable housing, uh, and the keys to these houses on the right you see the handcuffs so seriously there is <laughs> the guy with the trace cycle and the sound system is just here i don't know if you can hear the noise it's terrible Let's go on. Actually, there were more behind me that I haven't looked at. Magic Latins. In Mexico, we call them murales. Yes, in Italy too, so I can call them murales. <laughs> Thank you. not for sale. 
or we hope it wouldn't be. Although extreme capitalism nowadays is um, really hitting hard on lower income parts of societies. one is really beautiful. I am so sorry about the internet connection. I really don't know what to do about it. It's not in my power to do anything. Robert, I, I've seen uh, you have noticed Palmi Alley on Google Maps earlier, but um, I think I would get lost to go all the way there because I really don't know the area. Here, I think Extinction Rebellion is a very political group. I invite you to check it out, Extinction Rebellion. I mean, sorry, uh, what a bad explanation. I meant very political group, group that um, fights for environmental justice. sure if anyone is able to see anything right now because the app is telling me that um, the network is very unstable Anyone there? I'm not getting any new comments even. Wow, this is truly amazing. <laughs> I mean, I would really love to show all of this to you. Okay, Robert, I'll do whatever, whatever you're suggesting.
I guess nobody lives in these places anymore. This look like very old building. It's very consumed wood. <laughs> Yes, gorgeous murals, I agree. I was really so happy to go to that little alley. Here there is some more. These are just decorative though. Nothing really political or with a clear message. Hi Sean! My hair is definitely going gray. I wonder why you're so surprised since it happens to most of the people. Where are the homeless people? Well, we've encountered a few on that alley and in the streets in general, I try not to film them because they usually can get uh, quite mad and yeah. I try to avoid to, yeah. Not sure this is a good neighborhood to continue the live stream. Oh my god. Crisis. Okay, you can't see anything. <laughs> okay, this was just a dog escape from the car. This guy was just screaming and running around the intersection. It's crazy. People lately treat their dogs as if they were their kids.
that mean on transportation in English? Because for me that's a philobus, philobus we call it in Italian. have to say about these huge cars as well <laughs> because I've been reflecting on them a lot in this past couple of years that I've lived in the US where they are so popular and my conclusion is that there is a proportion between the size of a man not man sorry the size of a person of a human being and the size of the machines that he uses and that proportion should uh, not go bigger than a certain level. I think these type of cars, I mean these type of cars, are simply just too big to be allowed, especially in highly populated areas like the cities are. If you are hit by that car, even if that car is go going extremely slow, you are going to hurt yourself badly. You're going to be hit by a car like this one. That's already another story. One thing I appreciate about the US and how Americans drive is that they drive very slowly and quite cautiously. I mean, cautiously it depends, I guess. But uh, yeah, the way of driving here is pretty chill. Unlike my country, Italy, where we're Many of us are crazy drivers. <laughs> we're not very happy about hello please don't demonetize my channel YouTube Although, you have to keep in mind that in New York City, I mostly hang out where I live, which is Manhattan, which is probably the youngest borough of the five. Okay, we are at 20 seconds. So right now I'm walking on Mission, Mission Street, I think it's called. This is a major, uh, a major road of uh, this area, I think. I drove through this road uh, last days for a couple of times already. It's a road where I've seen quite a bit of homelessness collected. 
not so much here by walking, luckily. <laughs> Wouldn't feel very safe because homeless people here tend to be, um, tend to have very bad mental issues. So unlike other areas where I've traveled, where if you see homeless people, they might not be harmful. Here, some of them, they just, um, sometimes they just go crazy on even, how do you call it? like pedestrians that are walking by, not doing anything to them. You also don't hear me talking much and I'm not uh, flipping the camera because I'm keeping it very low. I don't, I'm not reading comments because I don't, if the area is not completely safe, I prefer to not show that much that I'm filming. Again, mostly for homeless people who live on the street and they don't like that they are getting filmed. They sometimes get very angry. of incense Not sure if you got that guy in the court in the right corner. Oh, he looks so elegant and playing his guitar. Those are things you would not see in New York. <laughs> okay, we're getting closer to 24th Street. That I've read it's a Important, I think, commercial hub. There should be a lot of restaurants and stuff like that, markets. Yeah, I might drop my gimbal for a second. read some of your comments oh there has been a lot of buffering I see 
Robert, thanks for thanks for <laughs> your um, directions. So many moralities also, look at this. if I can get closer look up huh. this is beautiful but it's not the Morales right I'm gonna try to cross this way let's see what is there hey tech 7 hi many people enjoy my live stream here <laughs> on the street they say hi I'm not um, capturing them all <laughs> Robert, which murals? This one? Oh, House of Brexit. I guess it's a car shop. Let me see if I can get closer and see it better. Or maybe I could see it better from there. I was able to visit this mural, Robert. anyone but uh, I've never seen so much care in the aesthetic details of architectures honestly this is not 
not to say that okay this is not to say that buildings in New York or in the Northeast in New England in general are not pretty or enjoyable uh, they just have a different type of um, of aesthetics simply that is not so detail-oriented I would say and it's not so um, you can tell that it's not so much cared for Frederick from from Düsseldorf, Germany, Deutschland. How are you doing there? Must be quite quite late in Germany right now, no? Ah, uh, I'm loving this. I'm loving all these paintings, murales, graffiti, whatever you would call them. I love that it's. doing a probably like a um, ceramic class or something like that it was really cool look at this building wow what a pop of color food there in Mission was delicious. I ate a torta and a burrito. <laughs> Don't talk to me about food. Oh my god, I I have still have to have lunch. <laughs> I think it must be around 4 p.m. here. Uh, okay. Can you let me know if the connection is still unstable? Never tried a burrito before. Is that a new flavor? Flavor of what? Mir mir. <laughs> a burrito is a type of um, rice and beans wrap. Sorry if I simplify it in su such a brutal way. Um, oh, Balmiali is coming up soon. Okay, Robert, keep giving me directions. Oh my god, the color really puts me in a good mood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and happy music on the street. Right 
the music. I like it. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, we arrived at Balmi Ali. Let me show you. Car is coming. Sorry, one second. Oh, this alley is not close to traffic, unfortunately. Pretty way to cover <laughs> from the from the heat from the sun. that got restored oh my god it smells i don't know where this is coming from but there's such a smell of food that is delicious here <laughs> it's like truly a smell of meat like barbecued meat together with this music it feels as if i was very close to a um, little town festival <laughs> bike workshop Wow, this is so beautiful. This, I must say, these murales look more... Uh, how can I describe them? More sophisticated. Sophisticated in them... Um, I don't know how to explain this. I think I like them better than the other street. This one, wow. This one is amazing. if I stay here but I really really love this one this is um, I guess the representation of uh, gentrification like this big <laughs> robot made of uh, modern houses is the representation of gentrification and again is what I was saying earlier it's very alle allegoric these moraleses are very allegoric it looks as if I was, um, it feels as if I was looking at the old Italian uh, fresco in some church where there are all the allegories of the virtues and stuff like that. Yeah, it was a castle. This one is so detailed, also. How we did that movie? Now the book. The 
Preston, where are we building this condo? See the feet for rent, the feet that are destroying people and environment making residents very worried. It is really diverse, deserve to be filmed. One last coffee house. Um, maybe I should explain to non-American people that coffee houses here are um, like the social places of the neighborhood. At least this is what I've noticed in the US. It's um, as if I was saying in, in Europe or in Italy it would be the, the bar of the town or uh, you know the pub of the town. It's um, those places where people meet and everybody knows each other and stuff like that. Okay, that's it. I guess you are getting tired of my very static filming. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's go on. <clears throat> I should stop very soon to put my phone in charge because it's uh, it's getting out of battery. <laughs> ah, what color these flowers? <coughs> Solo para exportación. This is gold just for export. Car coming. Sorry. And here it looks like they are restoring one of them or creating it. It's a freedom sound. Let it burn. Let it burn. Here, 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 here. And this is how you see that there is a community people caring about each other. What are you <laughs> Hi Anderson from Brazil. Hope you're enjoying the stream from San Francisco. giant truck. <laughs> this is what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> like what's why why does it need to be so giant? <laughs> what's the reason what's the function of it? so much homelessness I think much more than in New York at least that's what I've read 
<clears throat> the streets are much cleaner here. <laughs> Magic. Much cleaner. Here we are. Indigenous American. I'll come back to that one later. Ooh, these flowers. Oh, so much color, I guess. So much color. Even just the natural elements, the sky is blue. Just like New York City, the sky is very blue. You know, too. But these flowers, wow. Not sure if you can see the top part of this Morales colonialism settlers. <laughs> the sharks, the militars, the mainstream media bosses, the nasty companies that privatize water <laughs> and the people or actually women Okay, I'm sorry, I started from the top, <laughs> so I didn't realize that this is a women moralis. Women of the resistance. Sorry, car. another major major one of this street I'm so happy I made it all the way here thanks to Robert for the directions <laughs> I really needed them observing the murals from the car. <laughs> this 
someone is pissed. Is that I was seeing before, I think, earlier that I liked so much. Or maybe not, maybe it's just a similar style. Another car. Okay, this alley was amazing. Bye, Robert! Thank you for sticking with us! Left or right, left or right, let's go left! Uh, <clears throat> I see that there should be Garfield Park here Maybe behind this soccer and football field. Wow, look at this tree! Oh my god! It's so much massive! It looks like an old grandma! The soccer field is Garfield Park. Okay, but here I see some other muraluses. It's like a center. Oh wow, this Morales is so complicated. These are true works of art. 1980. I had no idea that this all this art even existed, honestly. I had no idea. I <laughs> incredible and you guys want me to go visit museums like what better museum can you visit than these ones that we, we just explored together this is incredible This is like a youth center with swimming pool. These are the good places. Pool 
schedule. Full of kids playing here. And there's this whole play field. Let me put you down one second. Oh no, wait, my gimbal. Be patient one second. Sorry, my gimbal is abandoning me. Please don't. Now you see what the phone is attached to. Okay, there you go. I brought too much clothes with me. Sorry again, my gimbal failed. Why are you doing this? Come on, I need you. Hello there. Okay. I think this is a good place to finish this live stream because this is sort of a community center, I feel like. And um, we've seen a lot of community today. I'm so, so happy I chose the Mission District to make this live stream, to visit a little bit of San Francisco. I don't have time to visit the entire city or anything like that during this trip. Um, but you know we've seen in last live stream we've seen the um, place of birth of the hippie movement which um, has opened the access to creativity to every person and today we have seen the beautiful community of the mission district what they have done the art that they have created and the values that they bring forward and i think they can teach us a lot they um, like these Latino immigrants can teach other Americans a lot about how to live in communities, how to enjoy life a little bit more also and care about each other. Um, yeah, I'm so happy I came here truly and I'm really sorry that the internet connection was um, jumpy. I, I don't know, I, I don't even know if this video is gonna stay on the channel but <laughs> thank you to all of you for joining and now i will go shoot another patreon update so i will shoot another video um, i want to go walk around the park that 
has the view on the Golden Gate Bridge and I want to shoot a video for my patrons there. I usually do updates on my Patreon page. So also if you're interested in supporting me there, um, feel free to pledge any amount monthly and you will get access to all the extra content that I put on Patreon as well and the Telegram group chat. Okay, thank you all for joining and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.